Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing safe. So the talk of the consumer tech world right now is the Apple Vision Pro. The AR headset that you wear over your head and it'll project a visual floating in front of your face. I tried the Vision Pro, it is indeed very awesome, but it costs 3,500 US dollars and after taxes in America, it really comes up to like 4,000 US dollars. So while it is awesome, it is highly unaffordable for most people. This is where the Rayneo X2 comes in. These are glasses that you wear and it will project visuals floating in front of your face, except it costs a fraction of the price of the Vision Pro at about 700 US dollars. And it's a heck lot lighter too at 120 grams. The Rayneo X2 is powered by Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon chip, the XR2. It has a pair of binocular display that can produce a palette of 16.7 million colors. It has built-in speakers, a camera, internal storage, battery and it runs its own proprietary software. So this is a completely standalone wearable computer. You don't have to plug this into a phone or another device to begin using the Rayneo X2. So what can the Rayneo X2 do? It basically saves you from having to pull out your phone as often. For example, you want to take a photo or record a video, you can do it hands-free with the Rayneo X2 because there's a 16 megapixel camera right here. You need to navigate to the nearest coffee shop these glasses can do it too. It can project a map that floats in front of you so you can walk on the street while getting turn-by-turn -turn navigation floating in front of you. There's an AI assistant with multi-model LLM, which is large language model, meaning the assistant is a little bit more advanced than the typical Siri or Google assistant. It's chat GPT. I'm Grace. Should I buy an iPhone or an Android phone? The age-old debate between iPhone and Android, right? It really boils down to what you The X2's AI can also recognize objects. So if I put up an iPhone and ask it to identify the scene, it can accurately describe what is in my hand. The Rainio X2 can also do real-time translation. So if somebody's speaking, say, Japanese to me or Spanish, I can see the words translated back to English or Chinese that are floating from my face. I can read the text as that person is speaking to me. I actually tried that at a Japanese restaurant. The processing is a little bit slow, so the LLM will have to be a little bit patient, but it does work. So I will get back to these features soon. Let's take a look at the overall hardware of the glasses. The Rainio X2 sort of look like a normal pair of glasses. I say sort of because these are a little bit thicker and a little bit bulkier than conventional glasses, but not so much that when I'm wearing these outside, people aren't like looking at me like, what is that guy wearing on his face? Like they still look normal enough from afar. They just make me look like the front man of Weezer. These glasses weigh 120 grams and the hinge area of the arms, there's a little bit of give. So that means even if your head is a little bit wider than usual, these should be able to fit your head just fine. The nose piece is removable and the package includes several other options. So if you have different shaped noses, it should be fine. When I wear the Rainio X2 and it's not turned on, I can see through the glasses almost completely normally. I do notice the two squares down here very slightly at the bottom of my peripheral vision, but from the outside, you should be able to see it a little bit more clearly. These are rave guides through which the micro LED project the visuals. There are touch sensitive panels on the left and right side, as well as a physical button at the bottom of the right arm. There are speakers on the right and left arm just above your ear, and there are mics in the glasses that allow you to take phone calls, interact with a voice assistant, or listen to music. Now, to be honest, the visuals pumped out by the Rainio X2 are nowhere near as large and immersive as the Apple Vision Pro, but this is not meant to directly compete against the Vision Pro, obviously, it is much lower in price. The Vision Pro is a device that you can't really wear and walk around outside. I know you're seeing a lot of people do that on social media right now, but they're just doing it for clicks and views. It's a gimmick. You can't really use the Vision Pro when you're moving around too much. But the Rainio X2, you can. In fact, these are supposed to be worn when you're outside walking around on a bicycle, you know, just going about your daily life. So that's why the visual overlay, it makes sense to be a little bit smaller because it's not supposed to block your entire field of vision. You're supposed to be able to walk, look at everything on the street and still have a little graphic overlay right here. So the Rainio X2 are kind of like a gap between the all immersive Apple Vision Pro and the smaller humane AI pin, like that pin that you wear to pump out words onto your palm. So this is something in between. Throughout my three weeks of wearing the X2, I have found that these do improve my daily interactions. For example, the shooting function of the X2 is very useful for someone like me 
who likes to ride bicycle or scooters or ride on the back of a motorcycle. And I want to film content, but a lot of times I don't have a free hand, particularly in Thailand. Like when I get around, I ride on the back of a motorcycle and I am too scared to take out like a phone and start filming like this. So I am like holding on tight to the seat. But fortunately with the X2, I was able to record a video clip from my ride so I can post on Instagram to show, hey, this is how Thailand traffic look like on a normal work day. Also, when I'm at a lively scene like a night market or a coffee shop, I can film a first person video showing my surroundings without me needing to hold the phone the whole time. The video quality is 1080p and stabilization is surprisingly good. As you can see here, I'm walking quite fast. It looks pretty good. So like I said, these glasses can help you navigate. It will actually project a map that shows turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Another cool thing is it will also show you your incoming notifications if you're paired to your phone. So whatever your phone is getting, you get a little pop-up that shows you the words too, including Slack and WhatsApp, which are two apps that I use often. And I get like 40 messages a day from those apps. So it's useful to be able to read the message in front of my face without needing to take out my phone every time. There are also other experimental AI apps that Rainio has built into the glasses, including this AI scan that allows you to scan a project. You have to hold still for like three seconds. And after that, it will do a search of the project and show you the information. So it works with flowers and cars. You can identify a specific car model. Now the results can be a little bit hit and miss, but when it does work, it feels very futuristic. These glasses have sensors to support 6DOF and SLAM, which is simultaneous localization and mapping. Basically, these glasses sensors can map the world in front of you in 3D and know the position of the real world in relation to your head. Controlling the AI is very easy. You can either use the touch sensitive panels right here that you tap or slide your fingers. The app overlay kind of looks like an iPad home screen. So you slide to cycle through your apps. You can also control the glasses with this ring. It connects via Bluetooth. And after that, you don't have to touch the glasses at all. You can use the touch sensitive panel here and the clicky button to do all the stuff that I just mentioned. Earlier I mentioned that you can play games on the X2 and Rainio has built like four or five games that are available in the UI right now and you can download more as they become available. One of the cooler ones is Ethereal Drums. So basically if you have a metal drum kit, you can place it on the floor and then this glasses will project a graphic that overlays onto the drums and then from there, you can get floating visuals to indicate which slot of the drum to hit, basically teaching you how to play a song. Ultimately though, I think the Rainio X2 are best used as a device that makes you take out your phone a little bit less. You can do real-time translation on this. You can say, check, you know, convert the time. Cause I always need to know, hey, what's the time in India right now? What's the time in Barcelona right now? So I can just get it directly from my glasses. I get a lot of incoming Slack messages. I can read the message without needing to take out my phone. I also like using it to record hands-free footage. Obviously the video quality is not gonna beat the video quality from the actual flagship phone, but the 1080p resolution is good enough for most use cases, particularly social media. And there's also something very fun with the hands-free nature of it. So for example, when I was filming the S24 Ultra versus on the Magic 6 Pro video, you notice that some of the footage, I just had two phones in front of my hands. I shot those with the Rainio X2. Even with just these features, I think the Rainio X2 does enough to offer a unique new experience at wearable computing. But this is just scratching the surface because Rainio, like every other major tech brand, it's all in on AR headwear, all in on spatial computing. It's not just a buzzword. Every company truly believes the next step of computing beyond the smartphone is something that you wear over your face. So every company is working on software for it. Every company is working on fine tuning the ecosystem, including Ray Neal. As large language model AI get better, the software will get better. As the software gets better, the Rainio X2 will be able to do more. If you remember the smartphone scene, particularly Chinese Android smartphones, there was a period when they drastically improved. I would say around the 2016, 2017 area. Before that, you know, Chinese Android phones were kind of mediocre and then suddenly they became every bit as good as like the iPhone, if not better, around that 2017, 2018 range. I think the similar growth, it's gonna happen for AR glasses because every company working hard at it and then you know how these tech brands work. The product will improve fast. The software will quickly, rapidly get more and more capable. 
The Renio team is all in on AR eyewear and they say they're working hard on building new apps, new software, constantly improving this product. So the Renio X2 are available on Indiegogo right now. I'll have a link in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. So that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. It will help me a lot. I have a lot more coming because I'm going to MWC. There's going to be a lot of cool films. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.